So Alistair, what are our latest videos going to be all about? So last year we produced a series of educational videos all about brand studies. I'm highlighting how to analyse the data, what they are, and how to use them to create more effective advertising. They were really successful, lots of people viewed them, so we felt like we would build on them this year uh, and produce um, a series of videos on top tips for effective advertising so our clients and the viewers can um, learn from them and, and create more effective advertising for themselves. Okay, so that sounds great, but how did you come to deciding this topic? So our mission at Underwise Research is to measure and enhance brand effectiveness, help our clients to produce more effective campaigns. What we've seen over the past couple of years is that digital advertising is taking up a larger and larger share of the total advertising budgets. Uh, in the UK now, 73% um, of advertising is digital um, uh, advertising. What we've seen with this evolution um, is that actually in our benchmark data, we've seen that several measures are actually slightly reducing in terms of their uplift. So brand awareness um, metrics and ad recall metrics are going down slightly. Um, this is completely understandable as the digital advertising market becomes more competitive and to be honest becomes a bit more cluttered as well. Advertisers are finding it harder to break through and, and get noticed by consumers. So how well do the top digital campaigns actually perform? So the academic research shows that those brands that drive salience produce far more effective campaigns and grow much faster. What we've seen through um, our benchmark data is that those campaigns that drive savings are four times more effective at driving purchase intention um, compared to the average campaign. So what these videos are hopefully going to show our clients uh, and, and show the viewers is um, top tips around how you drive this, um, how, 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 what is the creative best practice, uh, and how can they also learn from this to produce the most effective campaigns. Okay, that sounds great. So what other changes have you seen to the media landscape over the last year? So we've also been seeing significant changes to the way in which media is bought. So it always used to be that TV campaigns um, were bought by the TV team. The um, digital campaigns were, were um, bought by the digital um, team and, uh, and equally the same for out of home uh, and even audio as well. Um, this is starting to change and we've seen a significant rise in what's called omnichannel digital campaigns. So um, campaigns across all of these different media being bought in one buy via a DSP. This creates some real opportunities, um, but also uh, significant challenges uh, as well. So uh, it, it enables opportunities in the way in which programmatic targeting can be done um, uh, across uh, other digital uh, media, such as digital uh, out of home. Um, it produces um, opportunities um, in terms of efficiencies. Um, but also very large opportunities in terms of the measurement of these campaigns and using single source panels to be able to understand how um, uh, each element of this campaign is working uh, in terms of the brand funnel. Uh, and some of the videos which we'll be producing will be showing uh, and highlighting some of these opportunities and also the top tips for making this work for, for advertisers as well. Thank you, Alistair. For more videos from our latest series of the On Device Research Academy, please visit our website at ondeviceresearch.com.